What's up everyone? We're here at Fountain, Fountain Creek MX. Uh, it doesn't really have a name that I'm aware of. We just call it Fountain Creek. Um, and that's what it comes up on for the Corks Racing website for when they do races out here. So Corks Races out here, it's definitely more off-roady. Uh, there's a big off-road loop. Um, and they also run you out onto the sand a bit. There's a, there's a creek, you stay out of the creek, but um, yeah, it's good riding out here. It's good for moto practice as well. It's not like super rocky or rooty, but it's definitely technical. Very single tracky in some areas. And, uh, but today I'm, I'm gonna be doing some sand practice. Um, place is cool, it's only 10 bucks to ride. Um, so if you're heading on I-25, it's exit 122, you head east over the railroad tracks and then it's your guess technically the second right because there's a right directly out of the tr railroad tracks but uh, so second right you head past all it doesn't feel like you're going to a track you head past all the horse stables past a, a few houses and then there's a building it says 10 bucks per rider you sign in and um, pay your money it's a honor system so but you're on camera so you better be honorable um, but yeah, then you can ride all you want, and it's awesome. It is directional. There's there are uh, arrows, but you got to be careful because not everyone obeys that. So definitely keep your eyes out. There's a little enduro cross track as well to practice on. It um, could probably use some love, but uh, it's just a great place to go ride. Really cheap and teach you a lot. We'll get to riding here in a bit, and then let you know what we think how it was today. So recap of Fountain, um, the main loop was way too snowy, muddy, and frozen to be ridden, but that wasn't the plan today. The plan was to hit the sand, and that was actually really snowy and frozen as well. And if you've ridden on frozen sand, it's loose on top, slip around the bottom, really tough. So we found a spot out by the water. We weren't going in the water because getting, getting any of that water splash on you today, it would have been brutally cold. But um, short track. It won't last there long. The, the water will eventually take this one over, but it was fun. Less rocks. Um, got, you know, I was able to open the bike up in one straightaway and then just lots of throttle control. Um, good riding though. Good practice. And then um, went out for another session on one of the main sand areas. They do, they definitely have raced on this area because, wow, humongous sand whoops. Different skill level riders have, all different skill level riders have made these. So they're big and close together. You can't just hold it on through them. Um, one section in particular, if you do that, you're definitely going over the bars. But 
lot lot it took a lot of physical effort because some of the corners were uh frozen and you couldn't just flow super well through the corner to get speed you had to like barely get on it and then get your speed like through them so that was tough it was very physical um this track was pretty pretty dang rocky in some areas but um bike setup was key but it's just good training if you're looking to get some good sand uh off-road training if you're i a few if you're used to a track and motocross probably not the spot for you because this is very off-roady lots of rocks there's some roots out there like uh sticks like driftwood and so you're running over a lot of stuff so if you don't want to have your bike go over any of that stuff and you're not used to it it would be difficult but uh really good off-road sand practice um so overall it was an awesome day 10 bucks you can't beat it um so if you're looking to get some brutal practice you know a suffer fest it's a place to go for sure yeah it's an it's an awesome place it's down it's open every day um but I enjoyed it. It's good training, not so much for like my actual raw speed, but it was good for my physical and technical um, training aspects. So good day. And um, I, I can't wait to really go down there again and try and better myself and my bike and everything. So hope you enjoy the video. Hopefully you learned something that there's a good place in Fountain the Ride and um, we'll see you down there.